Thank you for coming along on my boss mom journey, trying to keep it together and figure things out along the way. Let's get started. Hey guys, it's Janika Renee again, also known as that brown girl that tailors. Yes, so I'm back with you with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be doing reconstructive surgery on a dress a client brought to me that was custom made for her. So I'm going to be pretty much doing surgery on it. It just wasn't the right fit or and it also um had a lot of problems it started to rip on her and different things so i'm gonna do my best to pretty much re revive it so i'm bringing you guys along for the journey for that i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started so a little disclaimer i will not be disclosing the designer of this dress but i will say that she did pay 750 dollars for it so this is the dress and as you can see it's ripped on both sides that's why the back is bent down like that so i'm going to add some bias uh, on the sides just to prevent it from ripping anymore and also the dress did not have any hook and eye so it was very hard for her to get it get the dress on along with no zipper in the back so i'm gonna go ahead and change that so here's the dress um i'm going to pretty much remove the back of the dress keep the front add a hook and eye add a zip in the back and i'm going to add some bias um tape binding on the sides of the um the boob area just to keep it from ripping anymore so this is the back of the dress as i showed you in the video when she had it on um it's ripping on both sides and it's probably ripping because she tries to get in it with no zipper on and this type of material is mesh so it's very very delicate so you can't just like slip or dress on like that so what i'm gonna do is like i said i'm gonna add a zipper to make it easier to get on and i'm gonna add a hook and knife to make it easier to get on and then i'm gonna add the bias tape on the side to keep it from ripping again so this is going to be the red that I'm going to switch the um the back of the dress with. It is slightly a different red, but once it's switched out, nobody's going to be able to tell that it was a different red. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be removing the back and adding a different spandex fabric to it. So I'm going to start by removing the back of it by cutting as close to um, the edge as possible. Um, I will be adding a little extra fabric on the spandex because we're getting rid of the damaged part right here. So we're going to make sure we account for that in the back of the, um, the dress of the spandex. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like once I remove the back from the front. I got it laid out here and you can actually see where the dress ripped on both sides. So I am going to go ahead and make a new pattern to the back of the dress with the red fabric I showed you. This is how it looks as you can see. Um, one side is actually um, shorter than the other. And... I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here you can see when I fold the dress evenly in half from the top to the bottom, the bottom is longer on one side. So I can actually see that when she has it on. It's really, really short in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to account for that and add some length to the back so her booty doesn't be out. So here I am laying down the fabric on top of the fabric that I'm going to use, both fabrics are in half the fabric that i'm going to cut i have it folded in half so i'm going to add i'm going to use this as a pattern i'm going to add seam allowance around it and in here as you can see i have pins marked i'm going to make it straight so that way um the back of her dress is a lot longer as you can see it's going to be a lot longer she's going to have more coverage for her bootay and um yeah it's going to fit so much better so that's pretty much what we're doing here so let's go ahead and i'm going to show you what it looks like after i cut this out okay so this is how it looks like when i cut it out as you can see i did add seam allowance around it and i made the back longer like i said i was and then i made the dress even on both sides so i made it um, matching the longer part of the bottom and i did add some extra seam allowance on the side to account for the um the size that are ripped this is going to be the zipper that i'm going to place into the dress so let's get started 
So here's the back neck part. Like I said, I'm gonna add a hook and eye here, so I have to cut that to separate it. And I'm going to be adding bias tape to the ends of it. As you can see, it's real rugged. We wanna get rid of that look. And I'm gonna have to move, remove some of these rhinestones because they are going to be in the way. Um, so I'm going to remove them, place them to the side, and put them back on later once I am done. So I cut the neck part and um, separated it and I removed some of the stones as you can see. Um, I have a lot more space to add that bias tape. So I went ahead and made the bias tape out of the spandex material that we're going to be using for the back. I pinned it down as far as I wanted it to go and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sew it down. So when you're using bias tape, you want to sandwich it in between. I can actually show you guys how I do this. Um, if you're interested in learning how to put on bias tape, definitely leave me a comment down in the show notes and I will definitely do that for you. So here's how it looks once the bias tape is on both sides. Um, like I said, that is to prevent it from ripping anymore. And um, now it's time to sew the back. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the, um, the zipper on first. We're going to close it up. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to clean um, the top. So I'm going to use my cover stitch machine to sew down the top here and here and down here. And then we're going to go ahead and attach it. So that's my cover stitch machine. I love this machine. So here we go. So I am all done with the back of the dress and as you can see there is a big difference in the size. I cover stitched it so it's nice and clean now and that is the after. So as you can see the bottom of that one is so short on one side and long on the other. It has no zipper so we just changed all of that. So this is the final look of the back. So now it's time for me to go ahead and put this hook on and I'm going to add some extra fabric at the end of it to account for what I cut off and this is what the outcome looks like. So we went ahead and add the hook and the hoop for the neck so that way it's easier for her to get this dress on and off without stretching it out of place. So I am now done with the front of the dress. Um, completed the bias tape and the hook and eye so now it's time to add the back to the dress so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to pin it on both sides and I'm going to pivot it in a way that the rip is not going to be there so this is how I pinned it and as you can see the fray part is out but that's okay because I added some extra fabric to account from what we are taking away we have the dress pinned. We're going to start by sewing from the top where the bias tape ends all the way to the bottom of the dress about a quarter of an inch and I'm going to um, top stitch the seam towards the back of the dress so you do not see it when she has it on. Now that the front and the back of the dress are complete, now it's time for me to go ahead and add the hook and eye to the top of the zipper because you need a hook and eye at the top of the zipper or else you're going to have the little V opening. So after this, we're going to go ahead and sew on the rhinestones. You've been following me for a while, you know that hand sewing on um, lace or rhinestones is like one of my favorite things to do. So this is probably pretty much therapy for me. So I'm going to replace the, the rhinestones that I took off. Um, not all of them will fit, but I am also um, tacking down the loose rhinestones so they're not just falling off her dress as she's walking around. So the dress is all done. This is the back of the dress so excited cannot wait to try this on her as you can see completely different back and this is the front of the dress that side is a lot more cleaner you can see the hook and eye so can't wait i'm going to show you guys exactly how it looks on her so this is the final look as you can see the hook and eye in the back the zipper at the bottom when she turns, you can see the bias tape that I created on the sides. She was so hyped when she saw this dress. She really thought this dress was a lost cause. I ain't gonna front low key. I thought it was too. Nah, I'm just playing. I knew I could work my magic, and I'm so happy I was able to help her 
not waste seven hundred dollars thank you guys for watching and i thank hope you to guys see you for watching see you next time and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel